CPAC is, has been called the Super Bowl of conservative gatherings. It is the conservative event of the year. And in a straw poll, you know, they take these polls of all the different candidates who come up and how they talk and what they, you know, how they, how the audience received them. And overwhelmingly, 2013, 2014, and 2015, the number one straw poll winner has been Rand Paul. And in looking at this, we've had the Boston Herald here puts out a report and he said, and they say, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. Third straw poll win yesterday at the Conservative Political Action Conference reinforces that the annual gathering is misnamed. It's a libertarian-leaning event, not one that accurately represents the Republican Party as a whole, political analysts say. I want you to pay very close attention because I'm going to tell you the, the Republican Party is changing. The framework of it, what the, what the Republicans and what conservatives believe in and what they want to see promoted is changing dramatically. And the old guard is trying desperately to hang on, just like the old media is trying desperately to hang on. The old guard in the Republican Party is fighting tooth and nail to save itself and to cling to the old power and the old ideals that they've been putting forward for the last uh, oh, 30 years or so. But it's dying out. And now what you're seeing is, is even the media is coming out and suggesting, wow, this isn't, this isn't really the conservative party. This doesn't really reflect where conservatism is going. It's only the Super Bowl of conservative events. But it doesn't really represent, because what they are is there are a bunch of libertarians out there. There are a bunch of people who promote freedom and free market economics. And that's not really what the conservative party is. That's just the conservative that's the conservative group inside of the Republican Party. They went on to say, and quote, it has for the last eight or nine years much more of a libertarian bent than what most people perceive it to be, which is the Super Bowl of conservative gatherings. So for the last nearly a decade, slowly but surely, these political action campaigns, these, these groups, these gatherings have been constituted in greater and greater number with those people seeking radical change in a return to free market economics and liberty, individual liberty. Now, the media is coming out and suggesting that this is not the real Republican Party. The real Republican Party doesn't know whether well, the real Republican Party may not believe that. The mainstays, the bastions, those holdouts in Washington, may not really believe this. But the truth of the matter is that the future of the Republican Party, the future of conservatism, the future of America rests in libertarian values. 